Norwegian mass murderer Anders Bering Breivik has not reformed during his time in prison and should be kept behind bars, a state prosecutor said on Thursday. The court heard closing arguments in the parole hearing for the anti-Muslim neo-Nazi. In 2011, Breivik killed 77 people and injured dozens in what was Norway's most violent peacetime atrocity. Prosecutor Holder Karls Dotter. According to the prosecution, there have been no changes whatsoever in his behaviour or social and personal functions. Which means that the court can have no other opinion about his imprisonment than what was reached in the 2012 verdict. Furthermore, in court he hasn't shown any empathy. Empathy. No empathy or compassion with those that have been directly affected by this case. And when one speaks about regret, it's genuine regret one should talk about. In court, he hasn't shown any genuine regret. The prosecution on Thursday provided a detailed account of the cases of 33 survivors who were shot, many of whom were hit multiple times and injured for life. The 42-year-old is serving a 21-year sentence, Norway's maximum, but it can be extended indefinitely if he's deemed to be a continued threat to society. Under Norwegian law, he is able to seek parole after serving the first 10 years of his term. Defence lawyer Austin Starvik summed up the case for Breivik's release. My argument leads me to where today I support his request for parole because the very strict rules to deny parole haven't been fulfilled. That is my argument. During the three-day hearing, the court heard from a prison psychiatrist who testified that Breivik's capacity for violent acts was undiminished. The prisoner also addressed the court and, in his own testimony, blamed online radicalization and brainwashing for his crimes. But Breivik admitted he would keep fighting, albeit through peaceful means, for white supremacy and national socialist dominance. A verdict on his parole application is expected within the next three weeks.